Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields on this Wednesday. This is going to grab the headlines over the next few days. Plenty of time to watch it. And again, I want to get into this strong tropical wave off the coast of Africa. Even the National Hurricane Center giving it a solid 30% chance of developing as it gets closer to the Caribbean. I'm going to get into the European model, the American model, and what could prevent it from developing and just how close it could get to the Caribbean. Again, the American model wants to make this stronger. So I want to dive into that. Plenty going on. So I'm going to get you covered in this video on that in depth. Plus, we've got a big blob of rain. I've been watching in the comments over toward the Bahamas. We have some rain and isolated flooding around. And again, here's the tropical wave that's been sliding by the Eastern Caribbean, now moving into the Central Caribbean, and it will eventually bring a chance of rain to Jamaica. I'll get into that as well. Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, we've been seeing some areas of heavier rain. But again, here's this tropical wave bringing some showers nearby the U.S. and British Virgin Islands and near Puerto Rico. This will pick up the rain chance as well over toward Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Bonaire, we had a couple showers. Curacao yesterday as well. Could see a stray shower. I'll dive into those forecasts ahead over toward Aruba. But again, look at this. Look at this big flare up of rain. What's going on here? Here Here's Florida, Cuba, the Bahamas. Here's Freeport, NASA, uh, Miami. Get toward the Florida Keys, Florida Straits, Turks and Caicos here. There is a tropical wave here, a surge of moisture bringing in some rain and isolated flooding, especially northern and central Bahamas, mainly north of the Turks and Caicos. I'm not seeing any signs of development out of this. I'll keep an eye on it, but this will progress into the Gulf of Mexico. That'll increase the chance of rain Friday into the weekend for Florida. But again, as it stands now, not seeing any signs of development. Got you covered though, of course, across the Southeast US and the uh, Bahamas. I'll get back to the Caribbean in a second, but look at this. We've got this tropical wave out here, another one coming off. Now, this is the tropical wave that may develop. Let me start with the European model and show you that. Then we'll talk more about the environmental conditions. Here where my hand is, I know this map could be a little difficult to see, that is the Eastern Caribbean. So here's this strong tropical wave. Now, the European model as of now is saying, hey, this is fighting a lot of dry air to the north and to the west, just like the last few tropical waves we've seen. So the European model is saying, hey, the dry air is going to prevent this from developing some. But it does keep it kind of together, which has my attention, because uh, the Canadian model as well shows a little bit of development. And you can see it here going out in time. This is by the time we get into Friday. Here's the Eastern Caribbean. And still the European model is saying, hey, we've got a strong tropical wave out here. So borderline for development, but again, overall, the European model is keeping this just a strong tropical wave and not a tropical storm at this point. We'll see how it evolves over the next couple of days, but you can see out in time. Let me stop the clock here. This is by Saturday night into Sunday, and it has some sort of tropical wave, tropical disturbance sitting just to the east or northeast of the Caribbean by the time, right in here, by the time we get into Sunday, kind of riding around this area of high pressure. So again, as it stands now, the European model keeps us a little bit weaker and to the east and northeast of the Caribbean. Now, the American model has this a little stronger, and it's not out to lunch this time. It's just saying, hey, yes, there's a lot of dry air around, but this may be able to fight off the uh, dry air and develop, and it wouldn't take much for it to uh, develop. So with that said, here's the Caribbean. This is by Friday, and you see the strong tropical wave. The European model is showing the exact same thing, but at this point, the European model didn't have much more development. The American model does. So what's going to happen? Well, it's going to be a wait and see. I need to see the environmental conditions the next few days. But as we get into Sunday, let me stop the clock here on Sunday. There could be a tropical depression or a tropical storm just to the east of uh, the Caribbean. Then the next question is, how close does it get? Well, most of the models have this just to the northeast safely from the Caribbean. But again, this is days away. This is by Monday, so we're five, six days away. So we need to see again how close it does get to the Caribbean. Another day or so, I'll have a very good handle on the track and intensity of this tropical wave. But you see it here, this is on Monday. The American model has this spinning up into a strong tropical storm, if not a hurricane. Wait and see on that because again, there's a lot of dry air, but it does have my attention, of course, as a lot of these tropical waves will. So the GFS, the American model, closer approach to the Caribbean and stronger, the European model a little bit weaker, but they're not completely apart. As I was showing you over the next few days, they're very similar. Same thing with the Canadian model. It's kind of 
kind of latching on to this strong tropical wave. So things aren't in crazy disagreement at this point. We've got a strong tropical wave that needs to be paid attention to, and I'll keep you posted. But this is common, again, as we get into August, and we're close, August, September, and October, 84% of all named systems since record keeping have formed in those three months. So again, really just getting started with the hurricane season, the next three months will be the busiest, which is typical. Now, let me break down this tropical wave and keep an eye on some of the rain in the Bahamas as I showed you again at the beginning of this video. Here's the tropical wave that moved through the Eastern Caribbean. Slight chance of a shower, the ABC Islands today. Better chance Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Haiti of getting at least scattered showers today. Now, as this wave moves across, stop the clock here. This is by tomorrow, Jamaica. My friends in Jamaica, no, not a washout. The tropical wave is weakening. I'd love to get a lot of rain at this point, but at least the better chance of rain tomorrow in Jamaica. Hopefully that helps out with some of the uh, cisterns. We need that in a lot of spots. Still watching out for scattered showers tomorrow in Haiti. And then by Friday, it's going to increase the chance of rain in Honduras, Nicaragua, and then eventually Saturday in Belize. So again, right on track from what we've been talking about the last few days and a better chance of some scattered showers. The Cayman Islands on Friday and still Jamaica and Cuba scattered showers possible as we work our way into Friday. And then Trinidad and Tobago late week, another little resurgence of some moisture, scattered showers possible, northern Venezuela, Guyana, and then you could see the next system, that strong tropical wave, still off to the east at that point. All right, as far as rain totals, just uh, let's get into uh, Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica. Now, Cayman Islands, not a lot the next few days. It'll be more so, again, Friday into Saturday, more so, but some scattered showers could give us some solid downpours around in parts of Cuba, Jamaica, in a couple days from now, more so tomorrow, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Again, not widespread. You see a lot of blue in here, which isn't a whole lot, but some spots of these brighter colors tell me we will get some downpours that could give us 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain in some spots. Now, as the winds go, thinking of our captains, uh, anyone uh, who's fishing out there, again, with this, uh, we're going to have some gustier winds right through the Central Caribbean, moving into the Western Caribbean, Central and Western by tomorrow. See some of the brighter colors. We could have some winds gust up to 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour, but for the most part, 56 kilometers an hour or 35 miles per hour with these winds. This is tomorrow afternoon. And then with that tropical wave thing, kind of shift off more to the Western Caribbean, and that will also correspond with some higher seas, the elevated seas, as this tropical wave moves by. Eastern Pacific side, this area has the potential of a little bit of development the next few days, safely though, off of the coast. So for today, the Bahamas, as I led with this video, that high chance of rain, especially northern and central Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, most of the actions to the north, but overall a 40 to 50% chance of rain. St. Lucia could see a few passing showers. Friday, a slightly better chance, but again, with that tropical wave pulling off to the west, things have settled some. 30% chance the next two days as we work our way into Barbados. Trinidad and Tobago, a little more moisture as we get toward the end of the week. We'll see those scattered showers back at it. Dominica, isolated the next few days, a 30% chance. And as we get toward Grenada, about a 40 to 50% chance over the next three days. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, rain chance 40% today, a 30% chance tomorrow. And Guadalupe and Martinique, again, only an isolated chance of a passing shower. Back through Jamaica, there we go, the rain chance. No, not a 100% chance, but at least a 50% chance tomorrow and a 40% chance on Friday as that tropical wave moves in. Little uptick as well in the Cayman Islands. Scattered showers will be possible late week. Puerto Rico, 40% chance today. We've already had some showers and spots, a 30% chance for tomorrow. And U.S. and British Virgin Islands, a couple passing showers possible the next few hours. Then the rain chance down to about 20% for tomorrow. Dominican Republic, that higher 7 70% chance today, a 50% chance tomorrow, a 60% chance today in Haiti, and a 50% chance for tomorrow. Aruba, rain chance limited, 20 to 30%. That'll also include Curacao and Bonaire, rain chance limited, but at least there's a shot as that tropical wave moves by. Belize, rain chance at 30%. Saturday in Belize, the rain chance will go up. St. Kitts and Nevis, isolated over the next three days, including Montserrat. 
and back toward Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance 20 to 30 percent, a 30 percent chance today in Antigua. Anguilla, rain chance about 20 to 30 percent today, very isolated to mainly dry both Thursday and Friday, rain chance down to 20 percent. Hit or miss shower the next three days, St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, even over toward St. Bart's. And as we work our way to northern Venezuela, about a 40 percent chance for today. Back into Costa Rica, as expected, that rain chance around, we've had some blobs of rain already. Rain chance only gets higher over the next three days. Guyana, about a 50% chance today holding on to that as well as we work our way into Suriname. So it is getting busier out there. Heavy rain near the Bahamas. I'll keep an eye out for any signs of development. That tropical wave working across the Caribbean and that strong tropical wave. But again, a lot of dry air with that. So even if it does try to develop, plenty of time to watch it. And if it does develop, the development would be slow because of all that dry air and that Saharan dust. So got you covered. I'm going to be breaking down that tropical wave further in these videos as it gets closer to the Caribbean. So thank you for sharing this channel, liking this uh, video, and again, sharing this uh, with others and subscribing as a whole. I hope you have a great rest of your day.